Hello and welcome to the week 16 eviction for 1984 Hall of Fame. This week, Sam is the head of household and he nominated Lee and Jabbar for eviction. Jabbar then won the power of veto and used it on himself. Sam then nominated Caleb in his place, meaning our final nominees this week are Caleb and Lee. So, Sam, with this head of household, how important was this win for you? And how did you, or what went into making your decisions this week as we are so late in the game? Um, so obviously this HOH is very important. Um, at least in my eyes, I was the target last week. So I do think I needed it. <laughs> Jabbar's nodding. <laughs> so I do think I needed it. Um, with noms, I just had to do what I think is best to get myself to final three. Honestly, is it. So Jabbar, without this power veto win, do you think you would have been the one going tonight? Or do you think you would have been safe? <laughs> Yes, yeah, sis. I was going home. <laughs> yeah, this was a do or die veto. Every comp from here on out is do or die, honestly. And I'm sure everybody probably fails that way. So Tyler asked a similar question to somebody at the last eviction, but um, do you guys at this point, do you think about who you're keeping in the game or who you are getting rid of when deciding your vote? Um, I want to say it's a mix of both because it's like I need to keep people that are gonna keep me if they get the chance, but I also need to get rid of people. Like I, I can't keep everyone that's gonna keep me and then just be stuck with everyone that's gonna be keep me. Like I can't do that. Um, so I need to keep people that I think will keep me, but evict enough people that will beat me in the end. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. So this late in the game, Caleb and Lee, either one of you can um, can answer this. What is your pitch to stay? Like, what is it that you grasp onto to tell people this is why you should keep me? Obviously, you'll get your final plea, but <laughs> you can answer that. Um, he's won this game before. I have not. <laughs> and he's already played two times. Well, this is the third time playing. This is my second. He does not need a third chance. It can his his chapter can close. Okay. Um, I was barely on season two. We don't count her, but apparently no, we count it. Anyway, um, I for me it's loyalty. I mean, I've been up front. I've been honest this whole game. People know where my head is at, and it's gotten me this far. I hope it can get me a little bit further. Um, if not, then that's on me, I guess. But loyalty is pretty much it for me. Okay. So this could be for any of you. With um, more specifically Lee and Caleb, because they could be leaving tonight. But if this is the end, or the end is very near, what will you guys take from this game? And um, and will you have any regrets if you would be the one to leave to me? Honestly, Michael, I came into this going with my gut and I'd rather be evicted going with my gut than not and get evicted rather than getting evicted and not going with my gut. So I have no uh, regrets with this experience. I, I'm also in a similar boat. Like I can't speak that like, when I go, I won't have any regrets because don't get me wrong, if I save a bitch here and they evict me next week, there'll be regrets. But um, for now, it's I have no regrets. I also agree with Lee, go with your gut. Um, if your gut's telling you something, it's probably right. So, yeah. No, I have no regrets either. I mean, this is definitely not the same game that I played in season two or season four. Every time I've got to play like a pretty different game. Um, and each time I get a new experience. So I'm not really mad about anything I've done this game. I can't say that I am. 
Yeah, I agree. I don't have any regrets. You know, I came back because honestly, I had like doubts about like my own gameplay before, not from 1984, but just like in games in general. So it was almost just like a proving thing to myself. But <clears throat> so far, I don't really have too many regrets. I have quite a few regrets throughout the game. Um, I won't speak on those yet, but, you know, coming back from season two, I definitely felt like I made a lot of mistakes um, in season two that kind of got me to where I was. Um, And I really wanted to reverse that, but coming into this game, I feel like I pigeonholed myself into quite a, a few of the same mistakes. So I think that I made mistakes, but I think that I've been able to bounce back fairly well from the mistakes that I did make. I, I, I do agree with that too. I like I have no regrets, but I do think I also have made mistakes. I think everyone has to a degree. Um, and that's just this game. Especially this game has been one of the most chaotic games I've ever played in my whole life. And it's been a fucking shit show. And I think anyone that says it's not been chaotic has not been playing the same game. So and that's also hard. Okay. With that. It is time to vote, but first I would like to give each of the two nominees a chance to give us their final plea. Caleb, you are up first tonight. You can give us your final plea now. All right, guys. Well, I said it before. Basically, my pitch is loyalty. The people who I'm campaigning to know where my loyalties lie. Uh, they know that I'm their best chance to get to the end. We're nearing there. You don't want to make a mistake that can cost you to make it there. Um, with that being said, no matter what happens tonight, I've had so much fun. You guys know I love you all. This is a stellar final five. And I mean, what is it? Is it? I made it to my 100th day. So um, proud of that. If it is my time to go, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to be upset. I mean, I will, but I'm not going to like, I don't know. I'll probably be feeling a lot of emotions. Um, but I hope Tyler, Sam, you guys can choose to keep me. Um, that's pretty much it. Good luck, Lee. You know, I love you so much. Thank you, Caleb. Lee, you can give us your final plea. It's just funny that Caleb talks about being loyal, but let's look at the material, shall we? He, like, let's look. Um, he blindsided, he wanted to get rid of Drew when we were in alliance together. He voted out Megan, he voted out Nick, who we were also aligned with. And honestly, he's, if I go tonight, he is a set path to final two, and he's probably going to win again. So Tyler, we are, like, in this ocean, we have the shark Sam, and that's who I'm gunning for if I stay. And if I win HOH, I'm putting up the fucking shark and the puffer fish, Jabbar. So... And if you keep me here, uh, um, give me a second. <laughs> if you keep me here, we'll have the numbers moving forward in this HOA to get rid of the shark and get rid of the puffer fish. And then we could sit together in final two and actually have a fair shot at winning because these three are going to like win against us 100%. But I will respect your move. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Thank you both. Okay, house guests, when I call your name, I need you to please go to your confessional chat and cast your vote to evict. Tyler, you are first tonight. You can give us your vote to evict in your production chat, or if you want to announce it, I know you guys like to do I'm going to announce it because honestly, everyone's going to know where my vote is anyway. No point of keeping it public or private. Um, okay, so this is where I'm at. I understand. Okay, so I've heard both of your pleas. Um, Caleb's preaching loyalty. Lee is preaching that I can beat him in the end. I understand that. Um, personally, I think one of you makes it easier for me to win if I am in the end, and one of you makes it easier for me to get to the end. Um, and ultimately, I do find it hard to believe that Lee, you are going to be loyal to me if I do keep you. I, I don't really think you will bring me to the end. I know you're saying that, but I genuinely don't believe it. Mm. And <laughs> honestly, karma's a bitch and I'm karma. And this is for you, Burks. I vote to Vic Lee. Thank you, Tyler. That was so nasty. 
Joe Barr, you can um, cast your vote to vote. Well, following that, I'm afraid of karma, and now I'm ready for karma. However, I will say I vote to evict Caleb. Okay, house guests. <laughs> I have the votes, and we have a tie. With that, Sam, as the head of household, you must break it. House guests win. Sam casts his vote to evict. The house guests evicted will have just a few moments to say their goodbyes and leave the Zoom call. Sam, please give us your decision. Um, you know, I love you both, but one of you obviously just said you were coming after me if you stayed. So, Lee, I do have to vote to evict you. Cut the camera. Okay. Lee, to make it official, you have been evicted from 1984. You can give us your goodbyes now. Well, I'm going to go by the list, Tyler. I was going to take you to the end. <laughs> I wasn't lying about that. Sam, congratulations on being the first two-time winner. Or Caleb, you guys both play really well. And Tyler is for Like, you can thank Tyler for that. Jabbar, this friendship we have will last forever. Um, <laughs> to production, thank you for bringing me back once again. And... To all the fans watching, I'm sorry I let you down. Tyler ruined the season. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. Thank you, Lee. It is time for you to go. I love you, Lee. I love you so much. Love you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Tyler, Sam, Caleb, and Jabbar. You are the final four. Two of you will be sitting in front of the jury to plead your case. The other two of you will be on that jury. We will be doing the head of household competition most likely sometime tomorrow. 